I'm so happy that you folks are here. Um, this is a special place, a place that I love very much. And uh, it speaks for itself. You, I don't have to even describe what's here, you can feel it. When we uh, did the chant out here, you could feel the wind pick up and blow. And it's almost like the caress of the ancestors that are, are here to uh, say thank you for being here and acknowledging that we are here. You have acknowledged um, how you care for this land by picking up all the opala, all the rubbish that was on the ground, all the leaves that were fallen. And in this way, you malama, you care for the aina, the land, and you give back to the land. You know, the ancient Hawaiians um, believed that we are all a part of uh, the land and the sky and the sea, and everything is alive. What I'd like to um, tell you too is that we're all connected. We're connected to, to everything that is here. We're connected to each other. We're connected to the land. Um, and by being connected, we cannot hurt someone else without hurting ourselves. We're all on the same team. In Lomi Lomi, um, one of the important things, one of the most important things is breathing the ha, the breath. God wanted to put a special gift in a place where everybody could get it. Any, everybody uh, who is rich or poor, young or old, whether they lived in New York City or um, in Tibet, high up on the mountain. And he wanted this gift to be accessible by everybody. And where he put this gift was in the breath. Everyone has to breathe, so it's in the ha. The ha in Hawaiian means the breath, the, the, um, the life, the life force. It's called the chi, the ki, you know, by many different words, but it's the same thing. And um, what does the ha do? Well, why do we need the ha? It's the turbo engine that moves the energy through. The energy doesn't come from us when we do lomi lomi. It comes through us. And so as we, it comes from God through us. And as we breathe in, we are filled with the mana, the mana is the energy. We're filled with the mana, and it goes up, it's intensified by our love, and it goes out through our hands. Now, I, I'd like for all of you to practice, I know you've been practicing it, but I just want you to, to practice again doing the ha. Would you kind of maybe point at something down there, maybe that tree right down here. Put your arm out, <coughs> breathe in, Breathe out, let the energy flow through your hands, through your fingers, all the way to that tree till it touches it. Okay, again, breathe in with the mana. Breathe out. Feel it flow from your fingers. Can you feel their, their tension just melting under your, under your arm? Again, breathe in. This is how you direct the energy. You could do massage and massage someone, and that would be fine. But this is like a little extra. It's more than just um, massage. It, it's the power to move all the way through the body instead of just on the surface or just to the tissues of the body. It moves clear through the whole body and through the spirit. So if the ha heals us, right under the neck and down. Who, who is a healer? Okay, the spirit, is a spirit is a healer. Yeah, God is a healer. And we're, we're simply instruments of his healing. You know, it's wonderful to know that we're not the healer. Because if we were the healer, we'd have to heal. And I don't know how to do that. So I'm very happy being the instrument of healing. And all I have to do is make sure I'm a good instrument of healing. I'm a good conductor of uh, the pure energy and of the pure light.